To recap, if you go up in the up direction, we are moving in the positive direction. If we move down, we're going negative. If we move to the right, we're moving in the positive direction. But if we go to the left, we're going in the negative direction. There's other things you need to understand um, as a quick review. If you have a debt, you are in the negative. So that's important to know. If you have any kind of debt, we say that is a negative value. If we have any sort of time, so if we have time, and time doesn't have to be like seconds or minutes, it could be weeks, you know, anything that's time or months, you know, that is always a positive value because you cannot reverse it. You cannot go backwards in time. You can't go backwards in weeks. It always moves in the forward direction. So we have this here to help us with what's to come. So read this problem over. Let's read it together. We have Mark had $200. Now look, your goal is for every number, either say if it's a positive value or a negative value. He has 200 bucks in the bank. Positive or negative? Positive. Because it's in his bank account. He's accumulated it. He's gotten richer. So he has this at the start of the summer. For the next eight weeks, so we have eight weeks, is that positive or negative? It's a positive value because it's time. So we can put that in brackets, positive. He would accumulate. Now, accumulating means he's getting richer. $80 per week in savings. If you're saving your money, you're getting richer. That is a positive amount. So we'll put a plus sign. After that, comma, the summer was over. And so he went back to school and would spend. Okay, when you're spending money, you're losing money. So you are in the negative per week on lunch. After how many weeks will it take him to use up his entire account? Well, we have to figure out what his entire account is. How much does he have in the bank? We know he started at $200. So we can write 200 bucks. We'll put a positive one. And then he accumulated some. We'll, so we'll put a plus sign. He accumulated how much? He accumulated $80 per week for eight weeks. We can set up a ratio. We've done that unit, so this should be a piece of cake. It should be $80 positive over one week, which is also a positive amount. So we'll put a little plus sign there. And then we are going to convert this not into one week, but we are going to figure it out for eight weeks. So we've set up a proportion. And the answer will be measured in dollars. We have 8 times 80. That's going to be 8 times 8 is 64. And it has one zero. It's going to be $640 he accumulated. So we will add that to what he already had. That's $640. Okay, quick recall. When you have an addition or subtraction question, you want to circle these two and look to see if they are the same. If they are, we move to the right. Now, this is just adding 640 to 200. So we know the total is going to be $840. You add these up, you're going to get 840 bucks. This is a positive amount. Remember, your goal is to write symbols beside every number. So we'll put our little plus sign there. So he has that much at the end of the summer. But now, he's going to start spending his money. How much money? He's going to spend $50 per week. So he's losing that money. He's spending it. It's leaving his pocket. So we're going to go minus $50 per week. And it says after how many weeks. Now, how many weeks? We can underline that and make a proportion. We'll put X weeks. Right, X weeks down. After how many weeks will it take him to use up his entire account? How much is his entire account? It's $840. So we are going to write, he's going to end up spending $840. If I asked you today, how much would he end up spending at the end of the time frame, at the end of X weeks? You would say he would have spent $840. So we can write $840. He would have spent that money. So we are going to put a negative beside it. This isn't money in his bank account anymore. This $840 has left his bank account. Ah, so that's why it's a negative. And this is going to be negative 50 because he's spending it per week. Now it's a matter of cross multiplying and dividing, which we can take one of these babies out. 
punch the numbers in. Now, I will hope that the answer will be positive because it's weeks. So let's see. Let's multiply the symbols first. Here we have a positive multiplied by a negative, cross multiply. What's a positive times a negative? It's a negative. Take that negative and divide it now, because remember, cross multiply, divide. Divide that negative by another negative, you're going to get a positive number. Okay, whew, so far so good. We have positive weeks. If we didn't, something would be wrong. That means you did something wrong with the symbols if you got a negative answer. Now we're going to go 1 times 840. That's 840 divided by 50. It's going to be 16.8. 16.8 weeks goes right there. So that's my denominator. This is my number that goes right there. This is it. 16.8 weeks. That's all. We, we figured it out. How many weeks will it take him to use up his entire account? 16.8 weeks. How many months is that? Question two. We have Mark. Make $65 every week shoveling snow. Is this a positive or a negative? It's a positive value. He's making this money. He's earning it. He's getting richer. He spends $35 each week on food. He saves $20 every week in his piggy bank, and he spends the rest of it paying back a $200 loan. I don't know why I put the dollar sign there. It should be on the other side. That he owes his brother, so he's got a loan to pay. And we want to know after six weeks, not after one week, but after six weeks, you see how we can start using ratios in this, in this question too. How much has Mark spent and how much has he saved? You want to start with spent? Let's do spent first. So we'll spend. So he spends $35 every week. So we'll write $35. Aha, right, minus 35. Every week, so over one week. Positive one week. And we want to know after six weeks. So we will make another, we'll make a proportion. We'll set six weeks over here. Now we can take this out. Don't really need it, but we'll use it anyways. Save some brain power. We're going to use cross multiply. Before we do that, let's multiply the symbols. We have a positive times a negative. Different signs means negative. Take the negative, divide it now. Remember, cross multiply, divide. Divide it by a positive. You're going to get a negative amount, which is good because we're spending the money. So we have now 6 times 35. We'll go ahead and multiply the numbers now. 6 times 35. That makes 210. Divided by 1 is 210. So we get negative 210 dollars negative two hundred ten dollars after six weeks so one week 35 bucks he spends after six weeks he spends two hundred ten dollars but how much did he save how much did he save because how much was he saving he's saving says right here saves twenty dollars every week so we will write savings are going to be positive Twenty dollars every week. This is not a T. This is a plus sign. Let me make that more clear. So that is our plus sign, and this is a positive, positive one week. We're going to make a proportion because we don't want one week. We want six weeks. So we'll say positive six weeks. We can multiply this. It's going to be $120. Positive or negative? Let's double check. Positive times positive is positive. Positive divided by positive is a still a positive. So we'll put a little positive sign there. We got $120, which is positive, which is great because he's saving that money. That's what savings do. They make you richer. He got $120 richer after those six weeks. But we're not done because the question asks us how much remains on the loan. Which loan? The loan he owes his brother. It's 200 bucks. Is that positive or negative? It's a loan, so he owes that money. He's in debt. Anything that's a loan or debt is always negative. So he has $200 in debt. We want to know how much is left on that debt. So how much is he paying back his brother? Well, let's do the math here. Let's think about this. $35 he spends on food. $20 he saves. Whatever is left over, how much is left over? 
35 and 20 is 55. 65, 10 more dollars. So he still has 10 more dollars in savings. We just went 65 minus 55 because 35 and 20 is 55. That's $10 left over. That's negative $10 because it's leaving his pocket. It's going to his brother. So we have negative 10. Oh, but that's not $10 because that's $10 every week. How much is that after six weeks? We'll set up a proportion. I know we could do this in our head. We've got negative $10 in one week. So that is after six weeks. That's positive over here. Positive times negative is negative. Take the negative, divide that by positive, we get another negative. So negative, cross multiply, divide, you're gonna get $60. So $60 has left his pocket after six weeks and gone to his brother. So that's money leaving his pocket. That's negative dollars. So it's debt. Anything that is debt, you have to write down as a negative. That's a no-brainer. So I'll clear that up. It's negative $60. But what am I going to do to these two numbers? Am I going to add them or am I going to subtract them? If I say I'm adding, you know what this is saying? It's saying that I have a debt and I'm going to add to that debt with another debt. That doesn't make sense. That's not how we pay debts off. If you have a debt and you add another debt, you're going to have more debt. So we're not going to add. That would be dig in a deeper hole. We are going to subtract the debt. When you are in $200 in debt, you owe somebody $200 and you pay them back, your debt has shrunk. You have reduced the debt. You have lowered the debt. You have less debt now. So we are going to subtract the debt. When you pay someone back, you are always, always subtracting debt. So we have $200 in debt. We're going to take away some more debt. So that's money leaving your pocket. Now look what happens here. These two symbols are the same. That's like going to the right. Remember that strategy? Go back to that video if you forgot that. We're moving to the right on the number line. So we are adding, in other words, you have negative 200. You add 60 to it. You're at negative $140, baby. So he now owes, this is still debt, but it's less debt. He had $200 debt, now he has $140 debt, which is better than it was before, and he still has more to pay back. Ah!